Did you know you can do a blind hem on knit fabric? It's great for when you want your hemline to have a more subtle look. This demonstration will show you how it's done. What is a blind hem? It's a hemming technique in which hem stitches are barely noticeable and can be done on your sewing machine using a special stitch. Consider a blind hem when you don't want the hem area to look way down, either due to the fabric type or design style. It can be done on dresses, skirts, or nicer garments where you don't want a traditional double needle hem. Because we don't want the hem stitches noticeable, pick a thread color that matches your fabric. For this demonstration, I'll use a contrasting color so it's easier to see. You also want to make sure to be using a ballpoint needle in your sewing machine. I'll only turn the bottom of my fabric one time for the hem instead of a double fold. This means when finished, you'll see the fabric's raw edge on the inside. While knit doesn't fray, it's a good idea to finish the raw edges so it looks nicer. To finish this edge, I'll be selecting an overcast stitch and using an overcast presser foot. Along the raw bottom edge of the fabric, I'll stitch an overcast stitch to finish it. Next, while looking at the wrong side of the fabric, fold over your hem allowance amount and press to create a crease at the fold. Still looking at the wrong side, take the pressed edge and fold it under the garment's right side, keeping the overcast finished edge sticking out about one quarter to three eighths of an inch. Don't press this edge. The blind hem stitch for woven fabric looks like this. Because this is knit fabric, it needs to stay stretchy. Select the knit blind hem stitch, which looks like this. Also change your presser foot to the blind hem foot that looks like this. If you need to, change your stitch width and stitch length. My width is a three and my length is a two. Put your fabric under the presser foot wrong side up, aligning the fold with the metal divider between the presser foot. Sew all the way around the hem, making sure to keep the fold lined up with the metal divider on the presser foot. This way things stay consistent. The smaller zigzags will stitch on the overcast edge only, but every few stitches there will be a larger zigzag that will catch just a little bit of the fold. These catch stitches will be holding your hem in place. When you finish stitching, pull the fabric towards the back of the machine to take it off the foot easily and cut your threads. Now unfold the fabric so you can see the folded hem allowance on the wrong side of the fabric. Flipping it to the right side of the fabric, you'll have little vertical stitches. These are the catch stitches when the machine did the larger zigzags. Obviously you can see mine, but if you use a matching thread color, it'll be hardly noticeable and still keep it stretch. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.